Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here. I'm sorry. It's just quarantine. Hello everyone. Just a little fun during these troubled times. Hope everyone is doing okay with this quarantine and this nasty virus that's going around. I know it's very troubling, but I hope everyone is safe. Your families are good. So I thought I'd make the best use of my time while I'm quarantined and uh, make some canister Damascus. There's not a whole lot of information out there. I mean, you see a few videos and it's, it's hard to get information sometimes, and especially when it comes to getting the can off of this well that you're gonna make. I've done this a couple times and I've used the liquid paper trick, but I've, I haven't had the best success with that. It, I've gotten the can off, but it took forever. But I thought I'd try a couple things I've learned in the last few weeks by doing a lot of digging, researching, and asking questions. You don't really get the information that you, you're wanting to get. So I'm gonna just try a couple things. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna try a couple things I've learned and see what we can come up with. So I've got a little mosaic I'm putting together and uh, some random stuff and we're gonna try it out so let's get to it okay so let, let me talk about what i've got here and what we're gonna what we're gonna try to do i took a 16 gauge stainless steel plate and i made a tube with it I just welded it up it's uh, about three or four inches long I, i'm more or less doing some tests here and if i can get the results i want then I'll, I'll make some bigger larger billets and different mosaics now i don't have a wire machine or, or or edm or some kind of water jet so i couldn't really cut out a pattern or, or design that i wanted so i had to just create something with my welder and something that i could try to emulate in a pattern which is a cross and what i've got is a 1085 center main beam with two sides and then layered it with 15 and 20 all the way around. So there's two, four, six, eight pieces of 15 and 20 and three pieces of 1085 is the core. So it's just a cross. And I'm gonna put it in a can, fill it up with powder, weld my caps on. Now, another thing that I did is I took a torch and brought this can up cherry red all over and made it scale inside. The reason I'm doing that is because I heard Steve Schwartzer say on a podcast and on a video, he used burnt stainless. Now, we use stainless in heat treating, we use stainless fall. And so what I did was char the stainless can. Now, it'll probably work without being charred. This is a 316L stainless. I used 309 fall, I think it is. Uh, but I have had fall stick to stainless blades uh, when, when quenching, and that was using a 321 stainless. But then I started using a baby powder trick. Uh, maybe that would work in here too. But So what I'm doing is I just charred it and, you know, thinking maybe that scale will work the same principle as the burnt stainless that Steve Schwartzer talked about. If you don't know who Steve Schwartzer is, you should. He's like the father of canister Damascus and a lot of the techniques that we use today. Great guy and he's given this information. So he uses burnt fall and lines his cans. Now I also have some carbon steel cans. This is tubing, some square tubing I had that I welded up. I'm gonna use the burnt fall, stainless fall in these cans and I may do another with just liquid paper, which I've done, done that. I kind of know what's going to happen there. I know the result. I know the stainless can will work because I've seen, I uh, can't think of his name, from Big Dog Forge used stainless can, which is basically what I have here. I just made it, but I've seen him do it with, with success. So I know that the stainless tube will work. Let's see what we can do with, uh, with this plate and some fall and figure out which works best. That's kind of what I want to do. And um, if I can get this stuff to work, I'd like to get some stuff cut out with a EDM or, or water jet or something and make some real nice mosaics. But I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time if I can't get this to work. So let's do this.
Well, did we learn anything? I know I did. The stainless can outperformed the tubing with the foil. Now, it could be that the type of stainless foil that I was using was not proper. The can that I made was out of 316L. The foil was a 309 and it stuck. It actually stuck to the, to the billet, which I've had that happen heat treating stainless blades before uh, and baby powder solved that problem for me. It's just the high temperature, it may not can handle the high temperature with forging and that sort of thing, but the stainless tube out of 316 was unbelievable. The billet just fell out of there. Now I saw Steve forge one, it just fell out too and he's using the foil. So I know that there's something there, but for me, the stainless can just was unbelievable. I saw Tim, I think I mentioned it earlier, Tim with Big Dog Forge is where I got the idea of the stainless can. Seen him do it. So you can get stainless tubing, some thin wall stainless tubing. It doesn't have to be thick. That stuff is tough. And there's the pattern. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the cross that I put in there, it's okay. I didn't cut quite deep enough to reveal the complete pattern. Same with this random pattern with springs and some junk in there, but I'm gonna save that. I, I didn't cut deep enough. We're gonna do something on the next video. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. Just be safe out there uh, during this quarantine. I know it's troubled times and uh, make some use out of it. Try to enjoy yourself, your family that you're with, that you're quarantined with. But I try to stay out here in the shop. This is what I enjoy. Being at home in quarantine is perfect for me because this is what I love, so. If you uh, got something out of this, please like and subscribe, share it with your friends. I know I did, so I appreciate your support, and we're going to see you on the next one. We're going to make something out of this. Take care.